Roadrunners have seen enough of Pennington this weekend. And that foul tips it off his ankle there. It's Pennington. He's one for three today, but that one was a huge one, a two-run ho home run back in the second. Since then, is grounded out to the pitcher and struck out. But those three at-bats were against Struby. He's seeing Trent Maloney for the first time this weekend. 0 for 1, or excuse me, 0 1 on the board. Great off-speed stuff there by Trent Maloney. We were talking to Coach about Trent, and he was, hasn't had his best season at third base, but he's been usually a good third baseman and a good hitter. Why would, and just talking to Coach, like, why would you put him at pitcher too? He goes, well, he's just a great athlete, and he loves to pitch. He pitched some in high school and has the, the stuff to be a good pitcher when the Roadrunners are trying to find reliable pitching. They're going to use every avenue, even if that means using some of his better players and double duty. One, two here on Pennington. Outside, trying to find the edge. Couldn't find it. Two, two. You can see that Maloney kind of has that hesitation. Not on that one. Came in quick and I'm not sure if there was a timeout or because you, as soon as I said, watch out for that hesitation, he didn't, didn't hesitate. He came in quick. And I think Coach Strain is going to have a conversation like, what was wrong with that pitch? And I don't think that the man behind the plate, Wilson, was ready for that pitch. And I think that caught him off guard, and that's why he called the no pitch there. I think these umpires have got to be ready, whether it's a fast pitch, a slow pitch. You can't punish the pitcher for you not being ready behind the plate. That's just my opinion, though. 2-2 two, two the count. Maloney trying to record the first out here in the top of the eighth inning. And just misses. Trent Maloney not happy, and 